Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever part of the world you are in. I hope you are thriving and not just surviving. I usually start with this sentence and I do believe in it because we are not here to just survive. But today's topic is is actually the crux of this sentence. And I, I say I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening because uh, biz words goes across the world and uh, people join us from all parts of the world and kahin pe shad subah hogi, kahin dopair aur kahin jo hai wo sham hone lagi hogi. Jisna se I think Pakistan mein jo hai hone lagi because my panel is 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 all from Pakistan and and then all from Karachi. Uh, we'll be talking about employee engagement today. Uh, interesting topic hai. Um, bahut hi um, um, I would say intriguing topic bhi hai because bahut kuch hota hai engagement ko badhane ke liye and bahut debate hai ki ji engagement has a direct impact on productivity uh, or not does engagement uh, has a direct impact on bottom line or not uh engage employees give you better organizations there are lots of things that we would be talking about it's definitely a buzzword during covid 19 days just may employee well-being or employee engagement but suddenly you have a pot zada path on a shroom here i have a, a very diverse panel um, uh, in in sense of uh, age experience and function and this is on purpose uh because we wanted to to get insights from 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 this diversity so i have with me uh uh Marunissa. Marunissa is uh is i could i could easily say at the start of her career one one and a half years into her career um is part of hr in rion energy um and 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 brings in lots of insights from from the new generation that we are speaking about the gen z and the millennials as well as she brings in a lot of insights from hr i have with me um sayed salman ali uh, salman again is a is a seasoned uh, hr um uh, uh, a manager He's been with different organizations across the uh, ac- across the board. Re- uh, currently, he's with um, uh, Dolmen Group, um, which is known for its uh, shopping malls across Pakistan. Karachi, me to Dolmen ka shopping mall jo hai, wo abhi kuch der pehle jo hai, wo ek जब uh, हम लाइव नहीं हुए थे तो बातचीत हो रही थी तो uh, एक पार्टिसिपेंट यहां पे कहता है कि जी डॉलमन का तो हमने चाचा जी का घर बना लिया हम जब चाहे जो है वो वहां पहुंच जाया करते थे एंड एंजॉय uh, करते थे प्री कोविड डेज सलमान हैज बीन विद देम सिंस लिटरली देयर प्री ओपनिंग एंड ही इज ही इज ही इज ही इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर रिक्रूटमेंट एंड ट्रेनिंग विद देम एंड देन आई हैव विद मी सुहेल अकरम सुहेल इज अ सीजंड सीजंड sales professional um uh, sales mein jis bande ne uh, market ki khat nahi chhani hoti hai wo grow nahi karta hai aur suhail is one of them uh, so um and and there is a reason why suhail is there usually engagement ki jab baat hoti hai to engagement hr ki zimmedari laga di jati hai lekin ek function jo engagement scores ko khas taur pe bahut zyada uh, cher sakta hai wo sales hai so suhail us pe baat bhi karenge aaj uh, ek function jisme engagement ka direct impact foran nazar aata hai market uh, results aur uh, um uh improvement uh ki taraf or uh, bottom line numbers ki taraf is sales um swail is uh, is a head of sales uh, with 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 syntax he's just recently taken over uh, um, this role and before that he's worked with multiple organizations like rb recruitment keys or shan foods um and 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 and, and so on and uh, swail would be bringing in the the functional uh and line management perspective to engagement thank you very much um, all of you for uh, giving time uh, uh, to discuss about this topic madam sir uh, and everybody who's online with us i see a lot of people online with us um, please do drop in your name and which city or country you're from uh, say hello to us and we would love to say hello back um, jazeb lodi is saying it's a heavyweight panel um uh, heavyweight in terms of experience yes वैसे तो मुझे बहुत ही नाजुक से और लोग जो है वो नजर आ रहे हैं but thank you janze for that that was that was interesting so um, um so do 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 drop in your name and where you're from and we'll also be taking your uh, questions in a little while marinisa uh, let's quickly have a chat with uh, let's start with you um you are at mute uh, from your side so unmute kar dijiye ji marinisa you represent hr you represent um a a a a new generation of people joining in uh, our corporate world um 
what do you think is the responsibility of hr and employee engagement and is employee engagement just hr's responsibility hmm. okay so uh, first of all thank you uh, naman for inviting uh, me to, to this session and uh, okay so engagement uh, when we talk about that um, people usually have this concept that okay hr is supposed to do something to make sure that the employees are well committed to the organization they're in line with the core values they're loyal to the business and just, this is what normally people have uh, as a perception but trust me we don't have any uh, formula or a magic portion that we we'll just you know spoon feed the employees that here's your motivation or here's your loyalty to the company it's actually the responsibility of everyone who the employee interacts with in the organization every uh, your your team members your line managers the senior management the ceo so hr is just supposed to make sure that the culture is there the guidelines are there and the practices are being followed but it's actually the line manager uh, the the team members who the employee interact with most of the time So when it comes to your performance, when it comes to your rewards, when it comes to your learning and development, all of these play a very important role in engagement. And that is where your expectation comes from the line managers. Now we can make sure that all of that is there, but we can't really uh, provide that learning directly, that mentorship directly, or give them that career ladder directly because the line managers directly have to be involved in that. And mm-hmm. and uh, engagement is not about event management. That's one part of it. So yeah, we can arrange for such uh, things, but um, performance and learning, all of it, the, uh, the even onboarding and your your career career ladder, your promotions, everything depends on that. If everything engagement is involved in everything, so for that you need to make sure that the managers they they they're guiding their team well, they're making sure that their team is well motivated. They give them those special projects that they're actually interested to do. and as far as the medium means are concerned we were not um, like we are dissatisfied with just which for and say so you need to make sure that you keep them well engaged and for that everyone needs to be involved in the process and and and, and this is you a millennial who's saying this so you know we we are yes, the cusp doesn't... of the millennials we're not saying this but that's 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 i think a separate debate i i, I think humans are humans you know it's not just the millennials i think it's it's the age but that, that's a separate debate so interesting yeah. insights marinda sir um, you said it's not just hr's responsibility mm. uh, hr department ke kpi mein employee engagement hota hai lekin it's not yeah. just hr's responsibility and, yeah. and this brings me to swail uh, so um uh, swail line management functional management ka kya role hota hai uh, especially in uh, employee engagement and how do you see employee engagement how would you define employee engagement uh first of all assalamu alaikum everyone uh, thank you very much nawan sala i mean it's been it's been great to see you after a very long time and uh, it's a little sad for us that we can only see you on web now i mean we can't meet you because you are in dubai and we are here in pakistan we would love to meet you when you are back here i'm the glad flights, to be the flights just opened today going to karachi yeah. and coming back so hopefully i'll be there soon yeah yeah definitely so glad to have salman and uh, marinesa and hear about their views i mean it's been it's 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 great to be here i've been here before and bizwords is actually doing a great job in terms of you know creating awareness creating uh, developing people and you know uh, creating positive insights during these times because everybody is little mm-hmm. tensed Of, of what's been going around okay so coming back to the the topic and the question that you have asked absolutely i mean when you talk about uh, employee engagement and uh, the role of the line manager it's very critical uh, line managers are nowadays are managing especially in sales in sales and marketing if you see a lot of people mm-hmm. are managing a lot of people mm-hmm. and uh, and then uh, currently these days the the groups that are working the people that are working in the in the in the teams are they are just they are from diverse backgrounds they are diverse some of them are very young some of them are old some of them are some of them are mid aged so obviously uh, it's a huge uh, diversified force that uh, that is working under you so it's very important for the line manager to create that you know uh, create that engagement at his level because it's not possible for an, for a two or three or four people of hr in the organization to connect the entire for example if you talk about sales there are more than 150 people in normal organization in a mid, in a mid size organization so it's not possible for the hr to you know connect with each and every one of them and connect with them frequently 
so the line manager connecting with the field team with the people on people working under them day on daily basis on weekly basis in monthly meetings so absolutely it's the role of the line manager to drive employee engagement i would not say just employee engagement i would say drive employee engagement in the organization and sense what is going wrong with the different uh, people and you know see what is their challenge what is the issue uh, proactively work on those issues pro proactively gauge what is the team going through what are they lacking in and you know it's line manager's responsibility to to uh, come up and uh, you know deliver on the leadership uh, uh, required leadership skills because that is something uh, critical for a line manager to you know judge and yeah. then drive employee engagement and also a line manager can certainly pick up certain stuff where he's not um, expert then he can connect with the hr and the functions that you know there is something wrong with the organization right. and that's how we can fix it yeah right and then and, and, uh, you know uh, paper pe kehne mein ya uh, gapshap pe kehne mein to bada acha lagta hai ki line manager ki responsibility hai but you yeah. you 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 rightly pointed out you know and, and as they say people don't leave companies people leave their bosses और अमूमन जो सर्वेस होते हैं उसमें एंगेजमेंट का स्कोर का बहुत ज्यादा जो तारोमदार है वो बॉसेस पर होता है एंड सो इन सेल्स में तो खास तौर पे जिसमें अनफॉर्चुनेटली जो है वो अनफॉर्चुनेटली कहा जाता है कि जी डंडा बहुत ज्यादा होता है और डंडा बॉस का नहीं होता टारगेट्स का होता है यू नो एंड वहां पे एंगेजमेंट टेक्स अ स्पिन समटाइम्स यू नो वेयर वेयर एंड स्पेशली ड्यूरिंग दीस टाइम्स कोविड वेयर things have 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 taken a spin uh, how do you how do you think line manager manages uh, engagement then? so first of all do we need to understand that you know what kind of environment an employee is working in so if you talk about the entire organization the most vulnerable employee or the most uh, you know uh, the employee which is on most on the forefront and facing everything is your salesman so first of all he's working out in the market jahan pe garmi hai sardi hai dhoop hai and a lot of other stuff are happening and then on top uh, there is a lot of customer uh, so he's meeting with lot of people every day and there is a lot of customer complaints a lot of things come in lot of crisis situation come in and then also the main different opportunities and challenges which come come across mm. so they face a lot of challenges on ground they face a lot of uh, issues on ground mm. and uh, and i would say they are the most vulnerable when they are interacting with the people on ground and obviously is covid ke andar bhi आई थिंक किसी भी कंपनी की जो मैंने पाकिस्तान में देखा है किसी भी कंपनी की सेल्स फोर्स को कोई वर्क फ्रॉम होम नहीं मिला हम बहुत कम लोगों को बहुत कम कंपनीज ने सेल्स फोर्स को अपने घर पे बिठाया है या सेल्स फोर्स जितनी भी फ्रंट लाइन सेल्स फोर्स है आपके फील्ड सेल्स मैनेजर्स हैं आपके रीजनल सेल्स मैनेजर्स हैं एरियर मैनेजर्स है एवरीबडी हैज बिन वर्किंग एंड देर इज बिन नो वर्क फ्रॉम होम फॉर सो लीडरशिप रोल पे मे बी कुछ लोग घर से काम कर रहे हो लेकिन वो लोग भी मैंने ये देखा है even then a leadership sir, level unko, be... unko majburan bahar nikalna pada na leadership ko bhi because they need to uh, lead from the front wo wahi role model wali baat hoti hai i was recently having a chat with a with with a with the head of sales of a, of a pharma company and he said the same thing jo aapne kaha ki ji logo ne uh, essential sector mein doctors ko to heroes banaya hua hai lekin dawaye to hum pahuncha rahe hain essentials kaam ki cheeze jo hai wo khane peene ki fmcgs to hum pahuncha rahe hain uh, market tak aur aur bech rahe so you you're right and and this is where engagement takes a completely different uh, 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 how should i say it? a turn all together we'll we'll come to that in a, in, in in a little while uh, interestingly um, nadia huda is with us she's again a a seasoned seasoned hr uh, professional nadia thank you for uh joining and commenting uh she's 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 a head of hr for 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 a long time she says we can say employee engagement is an advanced version of employee satisfaction and 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 that's this is exactly where where i want to get to salman before i i come to you um there's this interesting study that i wanted to share before we we move on uh with our with our uh uh discussion and conversation or uh, uk government name um uh, uh, david mcloyd or neeta ye do log the jinko kaha tha ki ji aap employee engagement ke upar jo hai wo ek survey karke hame bataye ki what are some of the enablers of employee engagement and how can we bring better engagement in our organizations now this is the government now you can imagine the level of employee engagement within a government organization um uh 
across the world sirf pakistan ki baat nahi karta across the world bureaucrats are known to be one of the most difficult people to uh, 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 to sort of kya kehte hain unko khush karna bahut mushkil hota hai unko engage karna mushkil hota hai but uh, uh, david went across and then did research and there is an interesting website uh, by the name of uh, engage for success and they created a report and that report has especially in europe and 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 jo hr professionals hain jo cipd mein interest rakhte hain they would know that has become a a core in terms of defining how engagement works and what are some of the enablers of engagement and this is the definition that uh, david mcloyd uh, shares uh, based in this report this is about how we create the condition in which employees offer more of their capability and potential and i think i i, I love this and and i'll i'll come to the panel about this ke um their capability and their potential how do they you know how can we bring that out uh, and charge um, um, there's a there's a typo here it's a strategic narrative uh, narrative hai uh, uh, char enablers jo wo batate hain which is engaging managers and leadership as uh, swil and marinusa mentioned the voice of the employee the integrity of the organization and the strategic narrative of the organization what it is we'll come to that but i think this um, this uh, which is also the title transactional engagement yani ek transaction ho rahi hai ya overall transformation ho raha hai uh, is something which came out from this report and a lot of people started writing uh, and if you look at this graphic uh, specifically uh, it was all about employee satisfaction pehle ek survey karwa diya aur survey ke andar jo hai wo uh, humne uh, uh, kuch numbers le liye aur uske baad kuch activities karwa di aur us survey ko jo hai wo upar karne ki koshish ki versus transformation is it's a way of doing business it is not a once a year thing um it is not set of activities and targets it is it is integral to to a leader's uh, responsibility and so on and so forth and and this brings me to salman um salman how would you define employee engagement especially in terms of moving on from just a transactional activity uh and and moving on towards more of a transformational uh, uh, activity Salman, you are on mute. Uh, sorry, yes, Salman. Ji, Salman. First of all, uh, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, thank you, uh, Naman, for having me on this interesting topic that is uh, employee engagement, which is uh, you know uh, quite um, close to my heart. And uh, different people say a different thing about uh, employee engagement, and uh, there are different you know um, uh, bookish definitions uh, from different uh, organizations internationally about uh, mm. uh, this employee engagement. so uh, i think uh, uh, employee engagement is to you know uh, uh, develop an environment for the employees so that they can be uh, motivated and uh, committed towards the organizational goals and objectives and uh, they exert extra efforts to their jobs uh, mm-hmm. and for that uh, the organization must equip uh, their employees with uh, you know uh, required resources and their skill sets uh, so that they can uh, perform their responsibilities in a in a better, uh, better way so that's uh, you know uh, overall uh, the employee engagement for me uh, in a nutshell if i talk about employee engagement so uh, it is uh, the intersection of maximum uh, contribution of the uh, company and maximum satisfaction uh, for the employees at the same time so uh, that's uh, you know you, you can say ek um, uh, balance leke chalna padta hai because organization uh, require the efforts of the employees and on the other side employee uh required you know different sort of things like uh motivation uh, uh rewards and recognition appreciation uh resources uh, at the same time to perform their jobs because most of the time uh, organizations uh think ke hum hamari expectations hai we have to fulfill these uh, you know sort of things lekin wo apne employees ko uh, wo resources provide nahi kar pate hain jiski wajah se they cannot meet the uh, expected results so uh, that's also uh, you can say uh, comes in the part of employee engagement and and how uh, so how do you see organizations uh, uh, kafi organizations se apne kaam kiya bhi hai and uh, uh, you're an uh, uh, experienced hr professional hamari uh, organizations ke andar aapko kaun si approach zyada nazar aati is it more transactional and i'm talking in general i'm not just talking about your organization uh, is it more transactional ek aur transaction karwa di engagement is taken taken as 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 a given take at a particular point or is it more transformation okay um honestly speaking uh, to maine jitna dekha hai uh, within the market so there is a concept of transactional employee engagement rather than the mm-hmm. transformational employee engagement uh, 
organization thinks that if they conduct a uh, employee satisfaction survey or employee engagement survey uh, with a third party or within the organization so that would be enough uh, you know to gauge the employee engagement okay that's the f- initial part of employee engagement you uh, in- analyze what what is going on in the uh, organization what sort of mm. uh, engagement level uh, exists mm. in the organization but afterwards you have to take different uh, initiatives so that mm. would be the transformational employee engagement so that those initiatives would you know uh, make difference uh, in your organization rather than conducting the engagement survey only apart from mm-hmm. that i would say uh, at times i i've seen uh, uh, organization organize different recreational activities jo hum uh, is live session se pehle bhi thodi si baat kar rahe the ki they organize different sort of events like annual dinner eid celebrations you know different mm-hmm. days aajkal jo ho rahe hote different organizations like women's day mothers day fathers day so they are you know uh, just the opportunity uh, to provide a platform uh, to the employees so that they can uh, mingle up with each other after right. joining or uh, after you know agar koi naya banda organization ke andar aata hai so that they can understand each other start sharing ideas so that they can get comfortable in exchanging experience mm. uh, among them so mm. this is you know the initial uh, stage of employee engagement this is mm-hmm. all about to build trust among themselves mm-hmm. apart from mm-hmm. that you have to create a you know mechanism a framework mm-hmm. uh, with mm-hmm. the help of hr and the management so that mm-hmm. you can you know uh, start thinking about uh, aligning the employee efforts with the mm-hmm. organizational strategy because at the right. bottom line you have to achieve certain things because okay, management always thinks about the bottom line you know mm-hmm. whether it is a, you know a local organization or it is a multinational organization whether it is a service industry or it is a uh, you know uh, uh, yeah. fmcg and, so and i sure, think if if the management is not thinking about the bottom line then they would not stay in the management <laughs> exactly yeah. exactly that's the uh, point so just uh, suhail ne thoda sa explain kiya tha pehle ki ye hr ka role zarur kaha jata hai lekin obviously if you are the stakeholders if you are uh, running the whole team to aapka bhi ek role hota hai so i must say ke it's a half and half uh, responsibility of hr uh, alongside with the stakeholders that's called line managers uh, hr is there to uh, design a framework along with the management uh, for the employee engagement thing but that would be disseminate to down the line to the stakeholders the let's, in different departments let's, let's let's talk about it is it easy HR तो strategies बनाता है line management की तरफ से support मिलता है ना let's 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 go heart to heart now right <laughs> okay <laughs> okay all right uh, I would okay. like to swell yes I'll okay. I'll, 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 I'll I'll just come back to the no, line okay. management से पूछते हैं ना line management से पूछते हैं HR तो initiatives लेकर जाता है swell बात भी एक transaction है survey है और sales वाले तो survey को माशाल्लाह से जो है ना वो they can take it through the roof or they could take it down to the floor so so yeah how how does okay. that work? Uh, thank you very much uh, mai basically baat karna cha raha tha is bare mein uh, dekhiye uh, again employee engagement survey uh, maine aapko bataya jaise uh, pre workshop bhi jab hum baat kar rahe the to employee engagement survey survey har saal hote hain har badi organization mein tareeban ek ek din par do 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 dafa bhi ho jate hain to obviously sales team jo hai wo sabse badi hoti hai and you know their motivation their engagement can actually uh, shake the uh, uh, results and ye bhi ho jata hai ki uh, ek area ke ladke sare aapas mein milke employee engagement survey ko ऊपर नीचे भी कर देते तो दिस दिस एंड यू नो हैज आई हैव सीन कि लोग एंगेजमेंट सर्वे कैसे भर रहे होते हैं मतलब इकट्ठे सारे बैठे होते हैं इतने मुश्किल सवाल होते हैं और इंग्लिश में होते हैं तो सेल्स के लोगों में तो ज्यादा इंग्लिश की अंडरस्टैंडिंग नहीं होती तो आई हैव सीन के वो कैसे सब लोग सारे पांच लैपटॉप इकट्ठे रख के मतलब डिस्कस करके और इंप्लॉय इंग्लिश सर्वे कर रहे होते हैं वो ट्रैक कर लिया होता है कि नंबर नीचे लाना है या बदला लेना है तो किन सवालों का किस तरीके से जवाब देना चाहिए राइट एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली सो बेसिकली आई वुड से दैट यू नो नहीं ऐसा नहीं कह सकते आपकी लाइन मैनेजर की सारी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है रिस्पांसिबिलिटी इसमें एचआर की भी है बिकॉज़ एचआर की और टॉप लीडरशिप की है बिकॉज़ आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का एक विजन सेट करना है और उस विजन की वजह से आपकी इंगेजमेंट uh, ड्राइव होती है और इंगेजमेंट के अंदर सबसे बड़ा जो कलीदी रोल मैंने किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में देखा है अगर उस मैन उस कंपनी की मैनेजमेंट क्लियर है कि उन्हें तीन चार पांच सालों में दस सालों में कहाँ जाना है और कैसे जाना है उस कंपनी की इंप्लॉय इंगेजमेंट बाकी किसी भी कंपनी से ज्यादा होती है और जिस डिपार्टमेंट को वो अच्छी तरह वो मैसेज कम्युनिकेट हुआ होता है और वो जो जो डिपार्टमेंट उसको ओन कर रहा होता है उस डिपार्टमेंट की इंप्लॉय इंगेजमेंट हमेशा हाई होती है और मैंने ये इसको विटनेस किया है खुद दो तीन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सर्विस के अंदर 
कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल मार्केटिंग वाले विजन से ज्यादा अलाइंट थे या विजन पे सही तरह काम कर रहे थे तो उनकी अलाइनमेंट बिल्कुल फर्क थी बिकॉज मैनेजमेंट ने मार्केटिंग वालों को ज्यादा एंगेज किया हुआ था अपने विजन मिशन के ऊपर तो ये एक कलीदी किरदार आपकी मैनेजमेंट का आपकी लीडरशिप का होता है और दूसरी बात है कि एच का भी है एच का किरदार ऐसे है कि एच ने आपके लिए जो बेसिक इन्वायरमेंट है यहाँ पे एक हमारे सामत है उन्होंने एक सवाल किया हुआ है कि एम्प्लॉय एंगेजमेंट का और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर का कोई आपस में लिंक है इज देर एनी को रिलेशन बिटवीन एम्प्लॉय एंगेजमेंट एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर तो सामत बिल्कुल है अगेन एम्प्लॉय एंगेजमेंट अगर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर ठीक नहीं है तो आपकी कैसे जो है वो एम्प्लॉय एंगेजमेंट इंक्रीज हो सकती है तो ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर जो है एक पूरे का पूरा फील्ड है उस फील्ड को एक लाइन मैनेजर जो कि सेल्स का मैनेजर है या जो कि मार्केटिंग का मैनेजर है या कोई फाइनेंस का मैनेजर है वो ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर को डिफाइन या सेट करने की जो पॉलिसीज वैल्यूज और और भी जो चीजें होती हैं जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर के हिस्सा होती हैं या नॉर्म्स क्या है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के उनको कैसे इम्बेड करते हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर में वहां पर एच का रोल आता है सो एच आर हैज टू मेक द स्ट्रेटेजी एंड देन ऑल्सो एच आर हैज टू उस स्ट्रेटेजी की कॉम्पोनेट को पूरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में उसने बिल्ड करना होता है उनकी ट्रेनिंग लोगों की ट्रेनिंग लोगों की कैपेबिलिटी डेवलपमेंट लाइन मैनेजर्स की कैपेबिलिटी डेवलपमेंट इसलिए ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस बहुत ज्यादा पैसे खर्च करती हैं अपने लाइन मैनेजर्स की कैपेबिलिटी के ऊपर एंड वो एच ने वो सारे के सारे वैल्यूज फॉर एग्जांपल वैल्यूज की ट्रेनिंग हमने की है तो उसके अंदर ये हुआ कि तमाम लाइन मैनेजर तमाम टॉप लीडरशिप को पहले वो वैल्यूज बताई गई उनको ट्रेन किया गया उनको प्रैक्टिस कराई गई और फिर उन लाइन मैनेजर्स ने अपनी अपनी टीम को ट्रेनिंग दी तो ये बड़ा कलीदी रोल है एच का कि वो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर सेट करे एंड देन उसके बाद लोगों को इक्विप करे कि वो वो वही जो स्ट्रेटजी है या वो जो एम्प्लॉय एंगेजमेंट कंपनी ड्राइव करना चाह रही है उसको एम्बेड करे बाकी सारे सिस्टम के अंदर राइट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई थिंक आई थिंक यही वजह थी कि यू नो एचआर से हट के भी जो है वो uh, हमें सेल्स के परस्पेक्टिव में आई थिंक सलमान और मैन रिसा ने डायरेक्टली uh, मैंशन के uh, किस तरह से जो है वो इट्स नॉट अबाउट इवेंट मैनेजमेंट एंड एच का रोल जो है वो कलीदी है जिस आपने भी कहा एंड uh, बाकी पैनलिस्ट भी कह रहे हैं कि एच आर इज द इंजन जो फैसिलिटेट uh, करता है एंड वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई आई लाइक द इंगेज फॉर सक्सेस की जो रिपोर्ट है एंड द रीजन आई शेयर इट विद यू एंड आई शेयर Those those four uh, enablers again over here on the the screen is because this is not just uh, uh, theory. across the board organizations engagement engagement higher direct impact bottom line और कल्चर पर भी है बिकॉज कल्चर की बात हो रही थी एंड सोल एज यू सेट राइटली स्ट्रेटेजिक नेरेटिव ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वट इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टैंड फॉर Uh, what you know the values of the organizations values jo diwaron par hain kya wo waqai practice bhi ho rahi hai nahi what is the story of the organization you know aajkal hum employer brand ki bhi baat karte hain then comes the second enabler which is engaging uh, managers and the third part is employee voice and this is where the survey probably comes in and the last part is the integrity of the organization and the leadership uh, also but let's quickly get to the to the employee voice the 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 survey as a, as a, as a, as a tool uh, uh, marunasa uh, or uh, hr ke role pe kafi zyada jo hai wo uh, humne baat ki how do you see hr facilitating uh, employee engagement or employee experience across the organization okay um so uh, when we talk about how hr is supposed to do that um first thing that we're supposed to uh, make sure that in all the processes we're supposed to be closely associated with the managers once again i'm not saying that the managers are solely responsible for it obviously but we need their help in order to make sure that employees are well engaged you know, you know you can look at it in this way if you're working alone then you only uh, worry about or you only think about your uh, goals you think about how clear you are in them you think about what are your learning needs what are your uh, what progress do you want in the organization and what kind of an evaluation do you want how do you want to be uh, how how do you want your performance to improve in the organization but when we talk about a person who's assigned a team then the responsibility of that person is to make sure that he's not only thinking about himself now he has to think about all of these things for his own team members he needs to nurture them so hr can coach them hr can make sure that they have the right skills and they have the right direction they have the right people's management that they know how to deal with the employees they know how to deal with their grievances properly if if you don't if we talk about the bottom line as well i'm not saying that just keep all of your employees happy that is that is not possible at all or keep it, your entire team happy and just you know give them promotions and give them bonuses and everything we need to make sure that the bottom line the main goals and everything that is also achieved the company is in the right direction 
So if the line manager makes sure that uh, first thing is that if the line manager makes sure that the employees or the team members are pretty clear about the goals, they're pretty clear, clear about their targets, then even that is motivating for them. When you have the clear direction, you know what to do. Or in fact, if you're given special projects, you know, these uh, multinationals or these uh, amazing companies like Google, they have this practice that they allow the employees, they give them this flexibility that do the things that interest you. Do those mm. projects that, that you're passionate about. Because if a person is passionate about them, mm. then only they'll be able to do them properly. So that's right. why we need to make sure that all these managers and they have their team with them, we need to make sure that we're working closely with them. You can't work solely. And for right. that, we need to make sure that the line manager so himself going, has going, 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 you know, um, um, uh, having having the autonomy. And um, uh, another book, which is very interesting, I, 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 I run... Mm. I run the bibliophile circle yeah. for fun, uh, uh, in Funworks, which is which is all about books. So books come in Salman, it is, it is not just a bookish thing. It is actually a very uh, interesting practical book. Uh, uh, Daniel Binky's book is Drive, which is all about the motivation 2.0. When we talk it was different. He talks about autonomy and mastery. You know, when mm. autonomy, hoti hai, so we can we can work on that. But um, there's, there, there is an interesting comment or a question from Asif. And uh, uh, Marunus, I'll, I'll, I think it connects to, to what you were answering. Um, uh, I would request the panel to shed some light on how how to bring engagement into life right from onboarding stage and what could mm-hmm. be the other major touch points so you know because yeah. hr ki baat ho rahi hr actually pura employment cycle jo hai wo chalata hai mm-hmm. uh, usko manage karta hai so how do you see employee engagement or employee experience at every touch point uh, hr can play an important role in in, in enhancing it in partnership uh, with the line manager of course okay um, if i particularly talk about onboarding that's the first step right so just imagine that an employee just entered the building and they, they, there are two scenarios. Either everyone will be just working, they'll be on their own, and the person is just assigned a desk that, okay, just come here, sit, mm-hmm. and your line manager will come and he, he or she will tell you what you're supposed to do. Or you can do one thing that the employee comes, the employee enters the building, you give them a warm welcome. Obviously, the HR, I'm not going to say the line manager directly. And uh, you're supposed to, you know, uh, explain everything to them. And then the line manager or the team can have a lunch with them. So that has a very warm effect. That has a very, so like, you know, you know when we when we start, to, to kafi acha mahal hota hai. everybody's happy. <laughs> let's let's, yeah. let's build it a little bit. You know, when you started working, yeah. uh, hmm. performance appraisal ki baat aati hai. Uh, uh, other That's other the areas, thing, yeah. you know, where uh, promotions due thi jo nahi mili. Um, hmm. And then, and, and, and you know, how, um, and I, I think Salman, I'll, I'll, I'll bring this to you and Manu, I'll, I'll come back uh, again, having a, a, a quick HR perspective and then Swail, I'll come to you having a, a functional perspective to it. But how can we manage the whole employee cycle and ensure that we have transformational uh, engagement and not just transactional engagement? Okay. Um, so, okay, uh, for uh, that, uh, yeah. Okay. So, Manu, take a, take, uh, take a, Take a hit and then I'll, I'll go to Salma. Ji, Marissa. Okay. Um, if, if we, uh, I'm not going to talk about the performance appraisal cycle in it because that's a tricky question. That's, as in, that's a tricky part. You can't satisfy everyone, right? You can't give everyone promotions. But if we're talking about all the steps, then I think a better clarity in everything and, you know, talking mm. to them, uh, talking mm. to the employees, taking their suggestions, uh, right. even they can guide you on their own learning and development, on their own expectations, what they expect right. from the organization and how they want to move along, you know, the different right. positions in right. it. So being so, open, you know, creating a yeah. partnership and and, 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 and and giving their voice a voice, you know, uh, mm. as I say. Salman, what would you say to this? I think we've lost uh, Salman. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, Swil. Take a I will just take two minutes on the employee yeah, onboarding sure. and employee engagement because I was I had a smile when you know Manisa was talking about it. So basically, uh, I think we miss ninety percent of the time. Yes. When the employees onboarded, we miss the boat there. Mm-hmm. I have seen experiences, but I can tell you horrible experiences that I've mm-hmm. seen. Employee आप एक hire कर रहे हैं, अच्छी organisation से hire कर रहे हैं, उसको on board कर रहे हैं, और आपने उसको again this is a very practical example mm-hmm. आपने उसको आपने उसको गाड़ी hand over की है और वो गाड़ी पंचर है और वो पहले ही दिन उस गाड़ी का पंचर लगवाने के लिए वो दिलो खार हो रहा है so just imagine कि उस बंदे की motivation 
उस बंदे की उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के बारे में व्यू कहां से कहां चला गया वो कितना एक्साइटेड होगा नई जॉब पे आने के लिए यू नो सो आई वुड से दैट इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द ऑनबोर्डिंग कि आप उसको कैसे ऑनबोर्ड करते हैं उसके वर्क टूल्स रेडी हो उसकी ओरिएंटेशन प्लान रेडी हो उसको एक पूरा 15 20 डेज 30 डेज पीरियड का पूरा ट्रेनिंग दिया जाए जो कि हम बिल्कुल मिस कर देते हैं उसमें लाइन मैनेजर की भी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है उसके बाद उसको एक एक टाइम दिया जाए 8 10 दिन 15 दिन का जिसके अंदर वो अपनी जॉब पे जब जाके प्रैक्टिस करे तो फिर उसके बाद जो उसको प्रॉब्लम्स आए वो सारे प्रॉब्लम्स उसके लाइन मैनेजर या उसकी एचआर या उसकी ट्रेनिंग कैपेबिलिटी जो की जो टीम है वो उसको हेल्प करे उन चीजों को ठीक करने में उसको एक 30 टू 60 डेज का एक फेयर टाइम देना चाहिए टू एडजस्ट इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड वी कंप्लीट आई हैव नॉट सीन एन एम्प्लॉई ऑन बोर्डिंग प्रोग्राम इन एनी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस दैट आई हैव एंड दैट्स वेयर वी मिस द बोर्ड आई कैन टेल यू दैट आई लॉस्ट फोर और फाइव एम्प्लॉइज जस्ट बिकॉज़ देयर ऑन बोर्डिंग वाज कंप्लीटली ऑफ एंड यू नो ये हुआ है पास में और ये अभी भी हो रहा है और यहां पे हम बोर्ड मिस कर जाते हैं आपका जो दूसरा सवाल था um sorry i just missed the missed the question so that you so overall not just on boarding moving beyond on boarding and agar hum transformational uh, engagement ki baat kare to every touch point of hr uh, or every touch point of the employee cycle is 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 is, is crucial and um and, and i think and this is where i was um, I, i'll come to you swail but uh, very quickly if i can take salman ka perspective on on the employee cycle and how um how do you see every touch point making uh Uh, helping in 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 creating transformative uh, engagement all right um so no one basically there are uh, four different you know components of employee engagement which i believe uh, that is very important uh, to carry out the high level of employee engagement within the organization jo uh, question jo abhi ek viewer hai hamare jo hai unhone pucha tha ki apart from onboarding kya cheeze important hai to there are different thing jo main abhi char cheezon ki baat karne laga hu that is organization itself क्योंकि ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज है द कल्चर ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो भी सोहेल साहब ने भी एक बात की इस बारे में वी हैव टू कैरी आउट यू नो अ वेरी पॉजिटिव कल्चर विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑन बोर्डिंग के लिए बंदा हमारे पास आ जाता है एंड uh, उसको हम उसकी डेस्क पे बिठा देते हैं और उसके बाद फिर हम उसे बिल्कुल इग्नोर कर देते हैं कुछ टाइम के लिए और uh, जो बाकी के पेयर्स होते हैं विद इन द डिपार्टमेंट जिस डिपार्टमेंट में उसकी हायरिंग हुई भी होती है तो वो भी उसको इतना वेलकमिंग यू नो एटमोसफेयर नहीं दे पा रहे होते द फोर मोस्ट थिंग इज के आप जो भी नया एम्प्लॉय आया है तो यू शुड गिव वेलकमिंग यू नो जस्टर टू हिम और हर ताकि वो थोड़ा सा एडजस्ट कर सके बिकॉज जिस तरह uh, एक घर छोड़ के आप दूसरे घर जाते हैं इसी तरीके से आप एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन छोड़ के दूसरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जा रहे होते हैं एंड आप अपने एक्सपीरियंसेस जरूर लेके जा रहे होते हैं लेकिन यू हैव टू हैव सलमान ऑन अ लाइटर नोट आर यू सेइंग कि आप ससुराल जा रहे होते हैं ऑन अ लाइटर नोट आर यू सेइंग कि आप ससुराल जा रहे होते हैं उसका एक बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट जो रोल है वो आ जाता है ताकि वो थोड़ा सा अपने डिपार्टमेंट के डायनेमिक्स के बारे में और हाउ द डिपार्टमेंट इज अलाइन विद ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रेटेजी उसके बारे में थोड़ा उसको डिस्कस करे यू नो फ्रॉम द वेरी फर्स्ट वीक अगर उसको ये क्लैरिटी नहीं होगी so he or she won't be able to you know align him or herself about the uh, you know organization strategy or uska jo role hai wo usko uske sath align hi nahi kar payega right right uske alawa jo important cheez hai further down in the cycle sir. you know saal okay. ho gaya we 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 been through on boarding moving down you know because um, i think the cycle chalne lagta hai then 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 how do you see engagement uh, taking shape or losing shape okay Uh, उसके बाद जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज आ जाती है एम्प्लॉयर शुड गिव यू नो वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ लर्निंग एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड यू नो आप एक करियर पाथ देते हैं किसी भी अपने एम्प्लॉय को आप उन्हें अपॉर्चुनिटीज देते हैं सो दैट दे कैन यू नो शार्प इन देयर स्किल्स दे कैन यू नो एक्वायर डिफरेंट एडिशनल स्किल्स आप उनको चैलेंजिंग रोल्स uh, देते चले जाते हैं टाइम टू टाइम ताकि वो uh, थोड़ा सा एक अपना डायनेमिक्स चेंज कर सके अपनी परफॉर्मेंस का अदर अदर दैट क्या अगर वो एक यू नो मोनोटनस सी अगर एक जॉब परफॉर्म करते चले जाएंगे तो एक टाइम के बाद फिर उन या तो वो सेटिस्फाई हो जाएंगे विद द रिवॉर्ड इन यू नो बेनिफिट्स जो एम्प्लॉयर दे रहा होगा उनको उसके अकॉर्डिंगली या फिर जो है वो सिर्फ थोड़ा सा ईज में आ जाएंगे कि जी मेरी जॉब जो है वो बस यहीं तक है और उसके बाद मुझे कुछ नहीं करना एम्प्लॉय इंगेजमेंट इट्स नॉट अबाउट द सेटिस्फैक्शन सेटिस्फैक्शन तो आप यू नो आपने वो टेक्नोलॉजी जरूर पढ़ी होगी कंटिन्यूस यू नो एंगेजमेंट उसके अंदर यही आ जाता है 
कि आपको सिर्फ रिवॉर्ड मिल रहे हैं आपको बेनिफिट मिल रहे हैं और आप उसी से सेटिस्फाइड है यू आर नॉट कंसर्न विद द बॉटम लाइन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो आप मैं समझता हूँ फिर वहाँ इंगेजमेंट नहीं है इंगेजमेंट इज ऑल अबाउट यू आर पैशनेट अबाउट अचीविंग द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गोल्स नॉट अबाउट योर पर्सनल गोल्स तो दैट्स इफ दैट इज बेसिकली अ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल इंगेजमेंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट एक सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है वो है रिलेशनशिप एंड कम्युनिकेशन जिस तरह सुहेल ने भी थोड़ी देर पहले बात की थी कि एच आर का रोल क्या है और लाइन मैनेजर का रोल क्या है तो यहाँ पे जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज आ जाती है वो लाइन मैनेजर या लाइन डिपार्टमेंट का रोल आ जाता है जहाँ यू हैव टू कम्युनिकेट विद योर पीयर्स यू कम्युनिकेट विद योर सपोनेट्स क्लियरली जहाँ पे आप उन्हें उनकी परफॉर्मेंस फीडबैक जो है वो ट्रांसपेरेंसी के साथ उनको बता रहे होते हैं इसके साथ साथ जो भी एक्सपेक्टेशन है आपकी वो आप क्लियरली उनको बता रहे होते हैं अलाइनिंग दो एक्सपेक्टेशन विद बिजनेस स्ट्रैटेजी और टाइम टू टाइम जब आप फीडबैक उनको दे रहे होते हैं प्रॉपर कम्युनिकेशन के साथ तो उनका जो मोटिवेशन लेवल होता है या उनको जो क्लैरिटी होती है अबाउट देयर रोल वो आ जाती है जिसकी वजह से एम्प्लॉई गेट्स यू नो कमिटेड टुवर्ड्स द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के राइट एंड प्रोबेबली एचआर जो रिलेशनशिप एचआर प्लेस द रोल ऑफ फैसिलिटेटिंग दिस प्रोसेस आल्सो ट्रू ट्रू दैट इसके साथ-साथ एक और चीज पे मैं जरूर बात करना चाहूंगा दैट इज रिलेशनशिप फैक्टर Uh, इसमें मैं समझता हूं कि एच का सबसे ज्यादा रोल uh, होता है uh, देखिए लाइन मैनेजर्स के साथ अगर रिलेशनशिप एच का अच्छा नहीं होगा तो ऑब्वियसली दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू अचीव दैट एंगेजमेंट लेवल स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द लाइन मैनेजर रोल अगर आप लाइन मैनेजर के साथ अलायंस बेहतर करेंगे आप उनके साथ रिलेशनशिप को बेहतर करेंगे तो ऑब्वियसली वो एंगेजमेंट की चीजों को या जो बिजनेस स्ट्रेटेजी है उसको बेहतर तरीके से डाउन द लाइन एग्जीक्यूट कराने की पोजीशन में होंगे अदरवाइज फिर वही होगा जो सुहेल ने बात की थी कि पांच लोग बैठ के लैपटॉप लेके बैठे होंगे और अपने सेल्स फोर्स के जो एंगेजमेंट सर्वे है उनको भर के भेज देंगे तो फिर वो उसी तरह से हो रहा होगा तो यू हैव टू हैव अ वेरी पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप विद इन एच एंड लाइन मैनेजर्स जिसके बाद फिर एक स्टेज आती है जहाँ पे लाइन मैनेजर्स डाउन द लाइन ये मेक श्योर कर रहे होते हैं कि उनका जो एम्प्लॉय है नीचे वाला वो क्लैरिटी के साथ जॉब परफॉर्म कर रहा हो वो उसकी परफॉर्मेंस को टॉप uh, मैनेजमेंट तक बहुत ट्रांसपेरेंसी के साथ पहुंचा रहे होते हैं अदर देन दैट अगर आप uh, उनके साथ रिलेशनशिप अच्छे नहीं रख पाएंगे तो फिर ये चीज अचीव uh, नहीं हो पाएगी राइट आई थिंक आई थिंक दिस 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 हिट्स द नेल ऑन द हेड इट इज अ कलेक्टिव पार्टनरशिप जो 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 रिक्वायर्ड है टू टेक इट फर्दर um i believe we we've, uh, we've probably lost swail uh, uh, some internet issues is it just me ya aapko bhi jo hai wo swail screen pe nazar nahi aa raha hai sarman marina sir no i think swail is not there uh, all right okay he has um, some internet connection issues he is he is he he will probably come back in 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 a short while uh, we have with uh, with us uh, sayed nadeem jafar head of sales at hashi group pearl continental hotels and marriott hotels in pakistan um going through a, a, a tough time especially hotel industry in, in in covid and and he had he had an interesting a uh, two point question i'll 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 wait for swail to come back and and take it on from there but salman you 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 your part with retail uh um, covid or 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 post covid or pre covid uh aajkal baat hoti hai customer experience ki you know humne touch points ki to baat ki uh, but uh, customer touch points are, are much more important in in, in retail uh customer andar aata hai interact karta hai aapke uh, uh, employees ke sath what role does employee engagement plays in 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 creating those rewarding customer experiences also uh, and and that's something which is which is new but it's developing across the world on how engagement is driving customer experience either up or down are you talking about the uh, covid only or you no i'm, I'm talking in general leader. i'm talking in general in general you know how how especially with retail sector with with with, with your organization how um how how engagement plays an important role in creating rewarding customer experiences all right so being in uh, in a very you know uh, specific industry of property management or mall management uh, which is also called a retail industry uh, in the market so our foremost uh, value is to give uh, best of the best customer services uh, to uh, our both customers both means Uh, we have uh, since we are in a mall industry so we have different tenants so the tenants are our internal customers and the consumer uh, on the other hand are external customers mm-hmm. so uh, we have to uh, provide best customer service this is right. the main objective of uh, you know of our organization 
so right. for that it is very important that employee must have uh, you know that clarity aur jitne bhi hamare top to uh, bottom jitne bhi employees hain wo ek page pe ho ke what sort of expectation uh, uh, employee uh, customer has uh, iske liye uh, main ek choti si example aapko dena chahunga hmm. sure. ke uh, hamari organization ke andar apart from the these transactional initiatives kuch uh, transformation uh, initiatives bhi liye gaye hain uh, one of the initiative which we took uh named as organizational familiarization program uh every organizational must attend this program familiarization program familiarization program it's program. not okay. related to it's not not related to the orientation program orientation is also there but this mm-hmm. is something uh, different uh every employee must attend this program after his or her joining uh after this basic orientation program we conduct these kind of sessions uh jisme hum baat karte hain ki uh, how many you know लोकल और इंटरनेशनल टैलेंट्स भी है हमारे तमाम एम्प्लॉयज को ये पता होना चाहिए कि हमारे मॉल के अंदर कितने इंटरनेशनल ब्रांड्स हैं कितने लोकल ब्रांड्स हैं हमारा मॉल जो है वो कितनी कैटेगरीज के अंदर यू नो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हुआ है फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव वन डिजाइनर रेवेन्यू वी हैव वन एक्सरसाइज एरिया वी हैव फूड कोर्ट तो हमने अपने मॉल को थोड़ा सा डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किया हुआ है तो ये बेसिकली एक यू कैन से साइंस ऑफ अ मॉल इंडस्ट्री ये मॉल को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किया जाता है सो दैट कस्टमर कैन कम इन और वो एक पर्टिकुलर एरिया में uh, अपने तमाम ब्रांड्स uh, जो है उनको एंजॉय कर सकता हो राइट right. सो so, हमारे जितने एम्प्लॉयज हैं उनको ये पता होना चाहिए कि वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ ब्रांड्स भी हैव कितने लोकल uh, हैं कितने इंटरनेशनल हैं इसके साथ साथ जो इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ है कि हमारी जितनी अम्यूनिटीज हैं यानी जितनी हमारी फैसिलिटीज हैं विच वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग विद इन द मॉल उनके बारे में कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन होना होनी चाहिए वेदर ही और शी इज़ अ सिक्योरिटी वार्डन और ही और शी इज़ अ बिजनेस डिवेलपमेंट पर्सन ठीक है तो तमाम लोग जब एक पेज पे होंगे तो ऑब्वियसली आप एक बेहतर और एक सेंट्रिक किस्म की जो कस्टमर सर्विस है आप वो दे सकते हैं अभी आपने जैसे बात की थी कोविड की तो कोविड रिलेटेड मैं एक पॉइंट आपसे शेयर करना चाहूँगा कि अभी बहुत ज़्यादा इस चीज़ के ऊपर है कि कस्टमर्स जो हैं वो भी बड़े डरे हुए हैं कि हम अगर मॉल जाएंगे तो दोनों के किस तरीके का इन्वायरमेंट मिलेगा किस तरीके की जो है वो हमें चीज़ें मिल रही होंगी नजर आ रही होंगी और खुदा न खास्ता हम बीमार ना हो जाए तो हमने अपने तमाम एस को इस तरह से डिज़ाइन किया हुआ है कि फ्राम टॉप टू बॉटम यानी फ्राम मैनेजमेंट टल द नॉन मैनेजमेंट स्टाफ हम एक ही स्ट्रेटजी uh, के ऊपर काम करें right. और हम अपने and, तमाम and, and I think, को, uh, I think Right, and I I think that's exactly the point के आजकल जहाँ customer experience has become so important वहाँ पे अगर आपका एक जैसे से आपने कहा it it was something really interesting हम हम भी जब mall में घूम रहे होते हैं तो वो जो cleaners होते हैं या जो mall के dress में में बंदा नजर आता है हम उसी को जाके पूछते हैं फला दुकान कहाँ है uh, uh, and you know if if exactly. you don't if if that employee probably at that moment is not engaged your whole customer experience goes uh, uh, down the drain so uh, you know this is this is why it is so important to have an all round uh, approach uh, 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 to uh, uh, to customer engagement manner i i there there are some really interesting questions uh, on feedback uh, and employee voice just from the baki thi but uh, 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 swail so uh, this is nadeem nadeem uh, says he's head of sales from hashu group Pearl Continental and Marriott, and we all know how uh, the hotel industry has been uh, uh, under a hit, especially for COVID. And he he has an interesting question, and I think this is all related to COVID. Uh, Two part question related to engagement with employees are sales forces on work from home. So I think this is the only sales force which is on 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 work from home, uh, probably one of the home. And we can clearly see frustration building up because they are not getting that right access, and and engagement is going down the drain because. probably a lot of corporates are closed and uh, b2b jo hai wo bahut zyada sales jo hai wo from home worry and how do you how do you deal with that i think uh, nadeem sahab has a very valid point this is hmm. the industry which has been impacted the most in the covid and you know uh, it has been you know hit in a very very bad way now i would i would like to i would like to uh, give a suggestion here or maybe a recommendation from my side that this is the only sales team which is the currently sitting at home लेकिन क्योंकि होटल इंडस्ट्री के अंदर बहुत से ऐसे ट्रेंड्स बहुत सी ऐसी ट्रेनिंग्स बहुत सी ऐसी चीजें एडवांसमेंट हो रही होती है बहुत से ऐसे काम हो रहे होते हैं जो कि ग्लोबली हो रहे हैं और पाकिस्तान में नहीं हो रहे तो आई थिंक इट्स इट्स काइंड ऑफ डिफिकल्ट बट इट्स काइंड ऑफ इजी एज वेल दैट यू एंगेज योर एम्प्लॉज यू यू डोंट लेट दैम फ्रस्ट्रेट बिकॉज वेन दे कम बैक दे वोट बी इन दैट सेम उस क्योंकि होटल इंडस्ट्री के अंदर बहुत जरूरी है कि जब एम्प्लॉय 
ग्रीट करे तो वो अपने कस्टमर के साथ एक खुश खुशी से मिले रिसेप्शन पे ग्रीट करे पूरा एक पूरा एक डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस है अगर वो बंदा अंदर से खुश नहीं है फ्रस्ट्रेटेड है डीमोटिवेटेड है तो वो वो वाली सर्विस भी आपके होटल में आके वो प्रोवाइड नहीं कर सकेगा सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि इन लोगों को जो सोहेल नदीम स्पेसिफिकली जो है वो सेल्स टीम के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी जो है वो जितनी भी सेल्स टीम है उनकी सेल्स टीम के साथ जो सर्टनली जो उनके ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स पास में हुए हैं उनकी सर्टनली रिवीजन हो सकती है आई मीन जो लाइन मैनेजर्स हैं अपने पुराने प्रोग्राम्स जो भी पिछले साल दो साल में रन हुए हैं ये कंपनी का कोई और स्ट्रेटेजिक प्रोग्राम ऑलरेडी चल रहा था उसको आप फौरी तौर पे ऑनलाइन ले जाएं उनके साथ ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग करें उसकी इसके अलावा किसी एक्सटर्नल कंसल्टेंट या इंटरनली कोई कंसल्टेंट या ट्रेनिंग केपेबिलिटी आपका है डिपार्टमेंट है तो उसके साथ उस टीम को इंगेज करें एंड ऑब्वियसली यू कैन हैव डिस्कशन फोरम्स या आप बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट के ऊपर पोस्ट कोविड या और इनिशिएटिव्स के ऊपर आप लोग टीम को इंगेज कर सकते हैं कि कैसे अगर हम जब वापस आएंगे बिजनेस रिज्यूम होगा तो हम कैसे इनिशिएटिव ले सकते हैं हर एम्प्लॉय अपनी अपनी पंद्रह मिनट आधे घंटे की प्रेजेंटेशन दे और उसको उसको इस तरह आप लोगों को इंगेज रखना पड़ेगा आई थिंक इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन बट यू नीड टू कीप दम इंगेज इन सम अदर वेज so that they are happy when once they come back right and i i think swell extremely important point we uh, especially engagement ke point of view se uh, we cannot have a wait and watch approach yahan par uh, yes. we need to be proactive about it because uh, covid will go uh, the question is that when it's gone are we ready to hit back and hit back hard Yes. Uh, uh, our industries is, is probably also one of those just may we were very face to face with people or a beach mein zoom aa gaya hai to uh, uh, interestingly enough you know a lot of our this as aapne kaha so you know again we were meeting over screens um so but one of the things that we are also going through is we're trying to keep in, keep ourselves engaged with the customers and um, luckily uh, um people that we are engaging with are are open to be on screen and 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 keep their connection alive but but you made an important point proactively we need to uh, look at it and uh, and i think salman aapse bhi jo meri discussion ho rahi thi uh, especially when the mall was under shutdown under lockdown uh, you were still making sure that when you come live you're ready for it and 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 your people are beyond that uh, 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 the, the the initial stress that they went through uh, marilyn sir there is an interesting question and i think it it, it comes from uh, from from uh, from from your uh, uh, your point and i think uh, mahesh ka ek aur jo uh, uh, sawal tha if i can quickly come down to that i'm unable to see this but this is again one of the things of uh, uh, hr serves as a main facilitator of employee engagement due to its role as a mediator between workers managers managers and uh, uh, executive leadership and uh, i think somewhere uh, mahesh had also asked and there are so many comments that it is probably uh, uh, i've missed it but she was talking about feedback uh the voice the employee voice and i think you made an important point on it how do you make sure madam nisa that employee voice is heard across the board because this is one place jahan pe hr ek bahut hi important role jo hai wo play karta hai yeah okay so um we have obviously every organization does the forms right but if we don't respect ourselves through the form we ask for like focus group discussions in which we interact with the employees and we just ask for their suggestions so that works a lot you know instead of making them fill the form like that is important but it's better to you know have that face to face discussion to okay which part is the problem or uh, which what's the issue the main issue that is disengaging you with the organization so we need to hear those brutal facts and those those main concerns and then we will be able to act upon them so yes this this voice is actually helpful for us and we're actually looking for that thing we don't want the general answers and the general comments we want to know those brutal facts and we want to know the suggestions so i i think like in our organization we pay um, as in we pay proper attention to this part we want to know what people are thinking or what what are the concerns that, that they're having even if they want to keep it anonymous you want to know that other than your other than to... on your organization you know do you think we are really ready to confront those brutal facts feedback jab aata hai how do we how do we ensure that that feedback and you know feedback mechanism ke bare mein kehte hain ki the minute if i say i have a feedback for you you'll go on defensive right it's 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 a flight of flight mode jo hai wo fight of flight mode on ho jata hai uh, as an organization how can you how can you make sure that that feedback or or those innovative ideas are put to practice okay so uh, we don't need to have that defense mode as 
if the feedback is given properly you know instead of just attacking the person they can you know say it normally that okay this is the issue instead of just you know having a blame game or something but yes we were looking for those suggestions and we we're, we're kind of looking for those creative solutions that we're not able to come up with that maybe someone has a greater idea and then you know we can use that idea for our own help but um yeah if, if you do it properly if if the if we don't need to have that defense mode if it's if it's done properly and then obviously we right. incorporate so, that so having the right mechanisms in place is 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 critical uh from the panel um and and, and learning from your own uh take on it um i i'll i'll go to each and every one of you with this particular question before we uh we we we, we end our uh, today's episode so what are some of those internal engagement factors personally for you chhod dete hain kitab ko chhod dete hain aaj jo baat hui what is that something that keeps you engaged i think uh, i think encouragement is something which really motivates me a lot Uh, encouragement mm-hmm. from your parents from you, even from your children from your wife which you usually don't usually get and uh, you are going back your... home i guess or my baby ka episode based on ye wala right ha ah, ji <laughs> yeah so uh-huh. encouragement I, i i would say that you know right. uh, good good leaders guzarte aate jaate baithte phone call start karte emails likhne se pehle you know every conversation starts with an encourage, encouragement comment mm-hmm. there is always something good about everything that somebody speaks or somebody writes or somebody does right so as a leader it's very important that you pick that up and you know you it it, it really changes the wo jo aapne fight and flight mode ki jo baat ki thi hmm to us mode ko bhi change kar deti hai aur kaun se encouragement is the critical factor for the employee motivation it really motivates me a lot hey salman what is that that one thing or 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 what are those things that keeps you engaged personally okay uh, there are two things i must say one is uh, the liberty uh, to 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 take uh, different initiatives and the second one is the empowerment mm-hmm. uh, honestly speaking uh, i always uh, get these things from my seniors so asme sabse achhi baat ye hoti hai ki if you have the liberty if you have have the autonomy to uh, take initiatives to aap galti zarur karte hain but you 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 can learn from that और फिर जब आप उसको इम्प्रूव करते हैं तो उसका जो एक जो बिल्कुल डिफरेंट डायनेमिक्स हो जाते हैं काम करने के सो आई थिंक एम्पावरमेंट और जो लिबर्टी है इनिशिएटिव्स देने की या काम करने की वो बहुत जरूरी है आप अगर इफ यू आर अ लीडर तो यू शुड गिव दीज थिंग्स टू योर सबॉर्डिनेट्स सो दैट दे कैन लर्न दे कैन यू नो दे कैन फेयरलेसली टेक इनिशियटिव बेसिकली क्योंकि सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज ये होती है कि आपको डर होता है कि अगर गलती हो जाएगी तो वॉट विल माई बॉस विल से तो ये एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज होती है कि अगर आप वो फेयर खत्म कर दें वो बैरियर खत्म कर दें विद इन दबॉर्डिनेट तो इट विल टेक द्लाइट यू नो आपका जो काम है वो बहुत डिफरेंट हो जाएगा आपकी जो एम्प्लॉयज है एग्जैक्टली तो आपके जो एम्प्लॉयज हैं आपके जो सबॉर्डिनेट्स हैं आपके टीम मेम्बर्स हैं तो वो फेयरलेसली डिफरेंट इनिशिएटिव दे रहे होंगे अपने आइडियाज शेयर कर रहे होंगे ऑब्वियसली आइडियाज से आप इंस्परेशन लेते हैं उन्हें रिफाइन करते हैं एंड देन फिर आप उनको रिवर्ट करते हैं टूवर्ड्स योर टीम और फिर उसके बाद वो एग्जीक्यूट करते हैं तो इसी तरीके से आई थिंक ये साइकिल चल रहा होता है encouragement jab hoti hai to banda khul ke baat bhi karta hai and, uh, uh, and 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 also you said that you know if you're fearless to share so uh, you're encouraged uh, you know to to to, to be autonomous uh, also so so encouragement autonomy um, and uh, marunasa what is what are some of those internal factors that keep you engaged at work um the, the work itself uh, as in it depends on the nature of the work if i'm given something which doesn't match my interest and uh, if i don't find it something as in if it's kind of boring so i wouldn't really be up for it but if it's a special project if it's something that matches my interest and i'm given autonomy in it and i'm continuously given feedback and guidance as well mm-hmm. by my uh, supervisor and given clarity so this entire the nature of the work that that really has been that, that's right. a great motivator for me right this is this, no, this I, i would just like to yes well yeah i would just like to say one thing employee engagement mm-hmm. ko hum log kyunki ab bilkul end pe aa gaye 
तो एक बात डेफिनेशन के अंदर आपने जो रिसर्च की डेफिनेशन में आपने शेयर की कैपेबिलिटी एंड पोटेंशियल की देखिए दिस दिस इज इज अ न्यू थिंग पहले लोग अपनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक ही ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में तीस चालीस साल काम करते रहते थे और कभी भी अपने कैपेबिलिटी और पोटेंशियल को एक्सप्लोर नहीं करते थे नाउ द टाइम चेंज ये जो मिलेनियल है जो नई नस्ल है इसको अगर आप उसकी कैपेबिलिटी और जितनी मर्जी अच्छी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो दुनिया की बेस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो गूगल भी हो एपल भी हो अगर आप उस बंदे को अपनी पोटेंशियल और कैपेबिलिटी को यूज करने की यूटिलाइज करने की अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं देंगे वो कभी भी इंगेज नहीं रहेगा जितना right. मर्जी उसको अच्छा एनवायरनमेंट दे दें जितना मर्जी उसको आप गूगल के हेडक्वार्टर में बैठा दें फेसबुक के हेडक्वार्टर में बैठा दें बेस्ट ऑफिस दे दें बेस्ट सैलरी दे दें अगर आज के लड़के को आज की यंग बच्चे को जो आप अगर आपने मोटिवेट रखना है इंगेज रखना है तो उसको प्रोजेक्ट दें उसको उसको पोटेंशियल अनलीज करने के लिए उसको उसकी जॉब से बियॉन्ड प्रोजेक्ट्स दें और उसको इंगेज रखें ताकि वो अपने कैपेबिलिटी और पोटेंशियल को एक्सप्लोर कर सके अगर वो उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में डेढ़ दो साल एक्सप्लोर नहीं करेगा तो वो बड़ी जल्दी डिसंगेज हो जाएगा दिस इज व्हाट आई नोटिस्ड इन द पास्ट वेरी ट्रू एंड 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 आई थिंक दिस इज व्हाट वी कुड आल्सो सी यू नो अब एक मतलब हम इंकरेजमेंट पे तो खुश हो जाते थे लेकिन अब बात आती कि सिर्फ इंकरेजमेंट नहीं है कॉन्स्टेंट फीडबैक भी चाहिए आइडियाज को इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए ऑटोनमी भी चाहिए and i think this is this is this is where our organizations are heading towards everybody who's online with us do share in comments uh, just as said kisi ek ne bhi share kiya tha a mavish ne share kiya tha ji having opportunities of sharing innovative ideas keep me and my team motivated what are some of those internal drivers that keeps you engaged at work do share uh, in the comments uh, before i end the episode ab sara heart to heart baat karte hain man and sir we spoke about engagement uh, what are those things that that You know, वो घर जाते हुए जब इरिटेशन होती है यू नो वेर यू टोटली फील डिसंगेज और प्रोबेबली यू डोट वॉन्ट टू गो बैक टू वर्क द ओपोजिट ऑफ ऑफ एंगेजमेंट वॉट वॉट आर समिंग्स एंड दिस वी माई लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू एंड दिस एपिसोड ओके वन थिंग दैट डिसंगेज मी बैडलीफ्टन इफ आई गिवन समथिंग and i'm not told how to do it or what exactly am i supposed to do and i'm like okay what exactly am i supposed to do in this thing so that that really messes up the entire motivation like completely right. shatters it right and yeah so you know shabash shuru ho jao and then you don't know ki shuru kahan se ho raha hai that proper Salman, guidance is missing that proper guidance is missing salman uh, ओके फॉर मी द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग जो कि मुझे डिस एंगेज करती है वो है ये है कि अगर विद इन द टीम कोई प्रोजेक्ट हमने लिया है फ्रॉम द सीनियर्स और फ्रॉम द मैनेजमेंट और उसके अंदर अगर आइडियाज नहीं आ रहे एवरीबडी इज़ नॉट पुटिंग देयर एफर्ट्स इन टू द प्रोजेक्ट एवरीबडी इज़ नॉट शेयरिंग आइडियाज फॉर दैट प्रोजेक्ट तो वहाँ पर वो थोड़ा सा डिस एंगेजमेंट जो है मुझे फील होता है आई आई थिंक एवरीबडी शुड प्ले देर पार्ट एवरीबडी शुड पुट देयर एफर्ट्स ठीक है आपको शायद उस चीज़ का 100 परसेंट क्रेडिट नहीं मिल रहा होता आ, उस प्रोजेक्ट का लेकिन आपकी लर्निंग हो रही होती है एट द सेम टाइम आपको चैलेंजेस मिल रहे होते हैं आपको एक डिफरेंट रोल मिल रहा होता है जिस तरह भी सोहेल ने एक बात की थी कि आपको डिफरेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिलनी चाहिए तो आई थिंक के एंगेजमेंट के लिए सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ ये ये भी होती है कि आपको चैलेंजेस मिले वो दौर अब खत्म हो चुका है कि आपको एक मोनोटन सी एक जॉब मिल जाए और आपको करते चले जाए और पच्चीस साल तीस साल आपने एक ही जॉब करते हुए गुजार दी तो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट Uh, in this era of this uh, of world, तो यहाँ पे आपको बिल्कुल different challenges मिलने चाहिए आपके seniors की तरफ से जब मिलते हैं तो जो team members हैं they should uh, accept those challenges uh, with a whole heart right. uh, and with positivity. so I right. think uh, ये एक बहुत सारे सिंगल फैक्टर होता है अगर right. no. great thank you अब uh, Swell last words वो यू नो अमूमन मैं अपने वर्कशॉप्स में भी कहता हूँ और मीटिंग्स में और कंसल्टिंग असाइनमेंट्स में भी सेल्स की कॉम तो जो वो लोग हैं जो इंगेजमेंट का टीका अपने आप को खुद ही लगाते हैं बिकॉज दे नीड टू बी सेल्फ इंगेज अगर वो इंगेज नहीं होंगे तो मसला होगा बट क्या चीज ऐसी है जो डिसंगेज करती है या करियर में डिसंगेज किया है आई थिंक खैर मैं अपने करियर की तो एग्जाम्पल नहीं कोट करूंगा बट आई थिंक बगैर बता दें मिसट्रस्ट ओके मिसट्रस्ट मिसट्रस्ट जो है आई थिंक कंप्लीटली डिसंगेज कर देता है जितना मर्जी हाई पोटेंशियल रिसोर्स हो जितना मर्जी अच्छा लीडर हो अगर एक एम्प्लॉय और उसके लाइन मैन के बीच में मिसट्रस्ट डेवलप हो गया है इट कंप्लीटली डिसंगेज द इंटायर स्टोरी एंड यू नो दिस हैज बीन और पाकिस्तान की कल्चर के अंदर अनफॉर्चुनेटली बिकॉज देर आर अदर एलिमेंट्स इन दर्गेनाइजेशन इज वेल 
जो कि उस मिसट्रस्ट को हवा दे रहे होते हैं बजाय इसके कम कर रहे हो तो वो मिसट्रस्ट बढ़ता ही जा रहा होता है तो मिसट्रस्ट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज आई थिंक व्हिच रियली डिसएंगेजेस एम्प्लॉई आई हैव सीन दैट एंड उसको ब्रिज करना चाहिए लीडरशिप की जिम्मेदारी है कि फोर्स को वो ब्रिज करे जो ऊपर बंदा बैठा है उसकी जिम्मेदारी है नीचे वाला बंदा मे बी गलत सोच रहा हूं बट इट्स लीडरशिप रिस्पांसिबिलिटी की जहां भी मिसट्रस्ट डेवलप हो रहा है उसको बैठ के एम्प्लॉई के साथ बैठे क्लियर करें उसको थ्रू फीडबैक राइट या Uh, again, trust, trust deficit. If we talk about it, and and especially in these uh, work from home or remote days, uh, uh, one of the things which 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 comes the most is trust deficit. Because first we were working together, now those things which are coming have been done. But in general, trust deficit is is one of the biggest uh, factors which disengage. Karta hai. Ideas. पे इम्प्लीमेंट ना किया जाए या या क्रेडिट ना दिया जाए या आइडियाज पेश करने का मौका ना दिया जाए तो डिसंगेज करता है फीडबैक ना हो या टॉनमी ना हो डायरेक्शन ना हो तो डिसंगेज करता है वी अप्रिसिएशन आ रहा है अप्रिसिएशन इज अ मेन एलिमेंट व्हिच मोटिवेट्स मी और एनी एम्प्लॉय मैं विश इज हंड्रेड परसेंट अग्रीड विद स्वेल सो 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 या इन 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 इफ आई समराइज ऑल ऑफ दिस इंगेजमेंट इज अ बज जिस पे बात तो बहुत होती है लेकिन काम जो है वो शायद बहुत ज्यादा डेप्थ में उतर के हमें करने की जरूरत है इट इज इट इज प्रोबेबली नॉट जस्ट द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज ऑल्सो द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द एम्प्लॉई इट इज नॉट जस्ट द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द एच आर मैनेजर इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द लाइन मैनेजर एंड इट इज अबाउट क्रिएटिंग अ पार्टनरशिप टू मूव बियॉन्ड दो ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ जस्ट सर्वेज एंड events and and probably have a transformative workforce jahan pe every monday morning or sunday morning if you're in middle east utkar banda jo hai wo engaged jo hai wo kaam ke paas kaam pe wapas jata hai thank you very much for all those who joined thank you swail uh, for your precious time thank you melinda sir for your precious time thank, thank you saman for your precious time uh, thank, thank you very much who joined us uh, great great insights on engagement uh, jin logon ne hame der se join kiya hai uh, uh, is video ko zarur jo hai वो उसको जाके चेक कीजिएगा फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग इफ यू आर ऑन आर यूट्यूब